Hey guys, it's Karate Kotetsu. Those of you watching this video are probably watching because you want to learn how to win by KO. There are definitely a lot of knockout videos out there to watch. In today's video, I want to show you some matches that ended in a KO, explaining what moves led to the knockout, and I'm going to share some precious intel with you. The reason why I've been able to knock out so many opponents in my career is because of the intel that I'm going to share with you today. I highly recommend this video for anyone who wants to set themselves apart from the pack. Do you guys know the difference between those who can and can't imitate the moves to successfully knock someone out? Before I knew these techniques, I thought the reason I couldn't copy it was because I wasn't talented enough. In reality, it was one critical difference between the competitors who were able to successfully KO someone and those who just weren't able to. Simply by changing just one perspective, competitors increase their chances of successfully hitting a knockout move drastically. When I found out about this different perspective, I was so impressed and even surprised that my percentage increased so dramatically. Today, I want to talk about this specific perspective that increases the probability of KOs. Today's video will be on how to watch KO videos. The only difference between those who can and cannot replicate KO videos, this will be it. If you don't know this one tip, you'll never be able to replicate KOs no matter how many knockout videos you watch. On the other hand, if you do know this one tip, I guarantee your chance of KO against any opponent will increase drastically. I hope you watch till the end. This channel is run by Kyokushin Karate 3 time champion Koketsu. I'll be uploading my past matches and explaining the psychology and neuroscience I've learned to effectively teach karate. I've used the same techniques on my three children, and my parenting blog received 300,000 views in 2019. I was also in the top five blogs in the genre of education. I'll be explaining all of this in my upcoming videos, so make sure to subscribe to my channel. Os. When I showed you the KO clip at the beginning of the video, what were you guys focusing on? When watching knockout clips on your own, what part do you look at? I want you guys to think about that for a bit. Was it the move that KO'd the opponent or the move before the knockout? Maybe the combination to transition as well. I'm sure you look at all of this. If you are a regular viewer of my videos, you probably focus on the movements of my body, my moves and strikes, the way I step in, the stance of my upper body, the minute movements of my body, the stance of the opponent, how angled or low or high he was, where his center of gravity is, and any other details related to the match. If you do all this, you should be able to mimic most of the moves pulled off in the match. However, even if you're able to mimic the moves, it's a different story whether you'll land the strike. Now, let's get into the important factor in the video, which should help you mimic and land the moves. The only thing you should keep in mind to increase the probability of landing a move and successfully knocking out an enemy is whether you're able to put yourself in the shoes of the athlete who gets knocked out. Basically, everyone tries to mimic a KO by repeatedly watching the movement of the winner. What's really important and what you should ask is why the opponent who was knocked out couldn't detect the move that KO'd him. Why was he in that situation? Why was he not able to block? Put yourselves in the shoes of the opponent and imagine which of these factors led to his KO. The reason why this is so essential is because if you can't do this, even if you're able to mimic the move of the athlete who KO'd his opponent, if your opponent's stance, viewpoint, and situation are different, your strike will miss. While I'm watching a clip of a knockout, I make sure to imagine the damage the opponent feels, their mental state, and their thoughts. 
to better understand my opponent. For example, let's take the upper knee strike from the first clip. This move is called the responsive upper knee strike. I talked about this move in this video. I'll leave a link in the description down below, so make sure to check it out. Now, let me explain the situation the opponent is in, and then we'll watch the clip again. When viewed from the opponent's perspective, the first knockout occurs when trying to guard against a barrage of mid-knee strikes using his right elbow. He tries to withstand the strikes, tightening his abs, but is struck by the responsive upper knee kick and is KO'd. If you watch closely, after the second mid-knee strike, the opponent lowers his guard and tightens his left side to cut off the next mid-knee strike. Because of this, he ends up getting hit by the upper knee strike. Let's try watching the video again with that in mind. Here we go. The second knockout is another using the responsive upper knee strike and a good example of its KO effectiveness. The opponent was pressured by consecutive strikes causing him to shift his weight forward to stop himself from falling back and ended up falling prey to the upper knee strike. This is how he got knocked out. When watching this opponent, you see that he doesn't lower his guard like in the first clip. Instead, he was hit by the upper knee strike because he couldn't detect the kick under the shadow of my right hand. I want you to watch that clip and keep that in mind. The third KO was another upper knee strike. When the opponent missed the inside low kick, I stepped forward to strike him and so he lost balance and shifted his body weight forward. The responsive upper knee strike worked very well here because his center of gravity was towards the front so he couldn't detect my upper knee strike coming. Now watch this KO clip focusing on the opponent's center of gravity. How was that? Just as we did before, we want to put ourselves in the shoes of the opponent who was knocked out. By analyzing from the opponent's perspective, we can see why he was in such a position, why the combination of moves work effectively, why he couldn't dodge or block or strike, and any other contributing factors that led to the knockout. Analyzing these factors helps us understand what moves led to the knockout, what was the deciding factor, what situations used the final strike, what angle and timing to use. This all helps you imagine the details that led to the knockout. Once you've understood all this, you'll be able to replicate the knockout much more accurately. Once you're able to imagine the knockout scene, have your friends attack you during practice. Check whether you're able to replicate the situation and interactions as the opponent of the match. If everything goes as imagined, the move can probably be replicated, so try attacking. Try to practice recreating the situation with your friends at the dojo. If you aren't able to replicate the situation you imagined, recheck the video and start to hypothesize whether there are other factors which you may have missed the first time around. By repeating the process, you're able to replicate the moves from the clips a lot more accurately than the individuals who only watch the videos from the front and side. I definitely recommend re-watching any KO clips using this new perspective. You're going to notice so many new details, it'll be like watching a whole new clip. Please leave any comments about any new realizations or any thoughts about the technique. I'll use it as a reference for my future videos. Today's summary. When watching KO clips for reference, don't just watch the winner. Stand in the shoes of the opponent who's knocked out and analyze. Why are they in such a situation? Why did they get knocked out? Make sure to test this theory out yourself and see the probability of your knockouts definitely increase. Thank you for watching the video until the very end. I'll keep on making useful videos about karate techniques and practicing, so make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Let's get stronger at the YouTube dojo of Kyokushin Karate Champion Kotetsu. Osu!